What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avison Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are going to be testing out a feather deck, but not just any feather deck. We're going with a Naya feather deck, uh, which is not normally the case. Normally you see this as a Boros kind of list, uh, but we're, we're splashing for a couple different cards. Before we get too far into this list, I do just want to mention uh, Adam from Instagram did recommend a Naya feather deck. Uh, I, I apologize, Adam. I don't know if this is the exact list. Uh, I kind of looked through the ones that you suggested, found a list uh, online that I think closely matched, uh, and I kind of went with this one. I like the format of this one, but I do appreciate the, uh, the, the suggestion because that is pretty much how we got here. So uh, thank you to Adam. If anybody ever has a deck suggestion, please feel free to leave it uh, either in the comment section email it to us, whatever you want to do, uh, we'll, we'll happily check that out for future videos. So uh, in this deck, we are splashing green for Season of Growth, as well as two Domri's Ambush. Now Domri's Ambush just gives us a way of um, kind of fighting through a board, uh, which is really, really nice. Normally we don't have to worry about that too much, but uh, this does give us a little bit more of an option to just kind of fight off either creatures uh, or Planeswalkers as we need to. Uh, Season of Growth, obviously, just a really, really solid card in this deck. We're targeting our stuff a lot. If you don't know how Feather works, essentially, we've got all these very, very cheap kind of combat tricky cards. The idea is that uh, we're looking to target a creature we control with them and then have Feather out to be able to return it to our hand at the beginning of the next end step. So uh, essentially, we just get to replay all of it uh, the following turns. So really, really good stuff. Uh, Domery's Ambush, or excuse me, Season of Growth, every time we target a, a creature we control, we get to draw a card. Uh, so ideally, we're just going to be targeting, drawing, getting the value back, doing crazy, crazy good stuff. So that's kind of the plan. Uh, to look at our one drop slot here, we do have Defiant Strike as a three of target creature gets plus one plus zero until the end of the turn and draw a card. Uh, that key draw a card is very, very nice again, just because we do need to keep the wheels spinning. Uh, and so that's a way to do that. Uh, Fight is one, a really nice include uh, from Akoria. Uh, I believe it might be the only Akoria card technically in this list, uh, which is really interesting. But uh, a very powerful card, choose one or both, target human creature you control gets plus one, plus one, and gains indestructible until the end of the turn. And then you could do that as well for a non-human creature. Now, uh, we do have 10th District Legionnaire, we have Hero of the Nyxborn, we have Dreadhorde Arcanist as a non-human, and Feather as a non-human. Uh, so we're kind of split fairly evenly uh, between human and non-human, which means ideally we're going to be able to get both off with this. Uh, God's Willing, a way to give protection to your creature, uh, as well as scrying, so very, very good card. Uh, Infuriate, just a very standard combat trick, plus three, plus two. Uh, and then Sem uh, Semut's Sprint, uh, same thing, plus two, plus one, though, uh, and then we also get to scry one. So a little bit worse in, in terms of uh, power to toughness, but that scry one can be very, very helpful. Uh, looking in the two drop slot, again, we've already got the Season's Growth and Domery's Ambush, but as far as creatures go, we've got Dreadhorde Arcanist. This is a way to bring back uh, all of these, you know, early game instants and sorceries that we get to play uh, because this actually lets you replay them. Uh, the power is one, uh, and so all of these fit the criteria that you're able to replay them from your graveyard, which is really, really nice. Uh, you do exile it after that. Uh, but essentially you get a freebie spell off of this. 10th uh, District Legionnaire, 2-2 uh, Haster for 2, fantastic value already, uh, but whenever a spell targets it, you put a 1-1 counter on it, and then you scry 1. So this is a bit of an engine card as well as a damage dealer in this list, so very, very powerful uh, specifically for this deck. Uh, looking in the 3-drop slot, this is really where our deck kind of comes to life. Uh, Hero of the Nyxborn is an interesting include. Uh, whenever you cast a spell that targets it, creatures you control get plus 1, plus 0. So this is a way you target one thing, everything gets a buff. Uh, so really, really powerful in my opinion. And then of course Feather, which we've already talked about, a great way to punch through some damage due to the flying. Uh, but it also just gives us replay value on all of this. Now, as far as lands, we are running the full 24. 
I don't know that I actually think that's the best thing. Um, but again, we're kind of we're using this as a stock list, so we're we're testing this out. Uh, we've got two, two, and two on the basic land split. Uh, two stomping ground, two, uh, or excuse me, four sacred foundry, and two temple garden. We are pretty heavy red here, uh, and so and and the green is definitely the least of our worries. Uh, as far as temples go, we've got two Temple of Abandon, two P Temple of Triumph, and two Temple of Plenty. That seems like a lot to me, um, to be honest. Uh, it In a deck where we're trying to be aggro, I don't know that I love that, but a turn one temple is actually pretty good, uh, considering we're not going to be playing any of these cards on turn one. Uh, and then four Fable Passage to search out uh, our, our basic lands here. So... That's the deck. We're going to try this out. We're going to see how it goes. I have seen, like I said, a lot of Boros Feather. Not a lot of Naya Feather. Um, but again, Adam's suggestion kind of got me thinking, maybe this is actually pretty good. So we're going to try it out. Uh, and again, thank you to Adam for, for offering up that suggestion. We really do appreciate it. Um, some exciting news, guys. Uh, the, the rest of the basic land cycle uh, is on their way. We do have, uh, as I've mentioned in the last couple of videos, the islands are for sale. Uh, that's the front. That's the back. Uh, it's just kind of our logo. Um, these are available for you right now uh, in, the, uh, in the It Resolves store. Um, yes, we do finally have a store as well, which is exciting. Um, oh, yes. Uh kind of sucks though we don't have the second white but that's a very good card to have um so yes if you're interested in buying the islands are the only ones available currently uh however we will have uh more than just that available very very soon let's go ahead and get this down uh just to get the swing in here our dreadhorde arcanist is very good but we don't have anything in the graveyard quite yet for it so i'm not super worried about that Somewhat expected that. Makes sense. Uh, next turn, we can get the hero of Nyxborn down if we would like. I do kind of think that's the way to go. Um, interesting, though. Against this Gruul deck, I'm worried about opposing Domri's ambushes like we're seeing. Like we're... Yep. There we go. <laughs> uh, just because that is a very powerful card against us. Uh, especially when we can't leave up the mana for this. So next turn, though, I guess we will be able to, which is nice. Uh, there we go. If only we could do both here. Uh, leave this up and play Feather. Um, go ahead and attack here first. <laughs> I'm going to play this out first. We're going to try and slow roll this just a bit. Next turn, we can actually do both. That's part of why I'm kind of slow rolling. Feather is really our key card, so we just want to make sure that we can get that uh, where we when we need it. Excuse me. Yep. Going to be taking three here. No blocks. Okay. Ooh, that's very good too. Man, uh, loving the value from this deck, I will say that. Uh, we're going to fetch a white here, though, just to make sure that we can leave up this God's Willing. I would love to play this Season of Growth right now, but I don't think we can. Uh, and so we are not going to. We're going to be leaving up God's Willing on this uh, to give it protection. I'm going to block here. Uh, again, we can give that protection. That's not a problem. Oh, crap. Oh, I picked the wrong color. It was supposed to be green. Whoops. I think that just lost us the game. Ah, oh, that feels bad. Meant to select green. Uh, green would have kept us uh, safe from that. That was a mistake. <clears throat> okay, well. Uh, 
Um, I'm just kind of trying to see what we can do here. Why not? We're done anyway, I think, so not a huge issue. Um, uh, sure. Might as well. Well, we got a lot of damage in. That was fun. Um, yeah, that was just a mistake on my end. Ugh. Unfortunately, just clicked too quickly. Uh, but that's okay. We will jump into game two and see how we do. I do like the feel of this deck, actually. And you could see, even what, though we lost, uh, we got to do some major stuff on that last turn, which was really, really cool. Uh, so hopefully, if we just don't misclick, uh, we might be able to get there. There we go. All right. Let's go, let's go. Uh, ugh. do we keep this? This has very little other than feather. It doesn't really have anything. Um, mm. I think we mulligan that. Um, this is better. Yeah, let's get rid of Defiant Strike here. Not sure if that's 100% right. I'm valuing the protection over uh, the, um, whoops. There we go. Hello. Uh, I'm valuing the protection over the... Uh, yeah, let's keep that. The protection over the card draw, which may be incorrect. Um, I'm, as I said, this is, this is a learning experience every time. It's very fun to try these decks out, though, I will say that. Uh, let's do this, and let's just go ahead and play Season of Growth. Probably could should have played the Sacred Foundry untapped, but I, I don't really want to take the damage if I don't have to. Um, and see, this is the situation where that would have been somewhat helpful, but, uh, that's okay. Let's do this. Let's go play, play the hero of Nexhorn out here. Uh, we get a couple scries, which is nice. Um, do we want that? I think we'll keep that. Um, it's a combat trick. We've already got our fourth land, so we're able to play out feather, then, you know, combat trick. Um, so I think that works out. Granted, land-wise, I guess that does not, so I technically should have put that away. That's okay. This is a Gates deck. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. This was a bad scry. That was my fault. Um, yeah, let's play Feather out here. Uh, yeah, we'll keep Defiant Strike. I wish we could leave up the white, uh, just to protect here, but that's okay. Ah, man, that feels bad. All right, um, we'll try one more time. <laughs> uh, I actually don't think we want that. I kind of think we're looking for another feather at this point, um... So I'm just going to pass here. We have the God's Willing for protection. Um, and this alone can really do a lot, so we'll see. Double Gates of Blaze was pretty good. I've not seen many Gates decks recently. Um, interesting that we're seeing one now, but that's cool. Also, guys, we are almost to the end of our Aquaria giveaway. Only a couple more days. If you are not entered, uh, this is, you know, I think we've got today, tomorrow, and then we're we're giving it away on Saturday. So if you're interested in picking up that, uh, highly suggest you um, enter the giveaway today or tomorrow. Uh, if you would like to enter, all you've got to do is um, subscribe to the channel, uh, comment on any video, does not matter which. Uh, with hashtag Acoria giveaway. Uh, if you do that, you're entered to win, uh, and you are entered to win a free bundle, which is really, really exciting, I think. Um, let's do this. That's good. Let's play you. 
Uh, I actually don't care to have a second one of those. I think now it's just a matter of we can just kind of keep going with this. This is so sweet. This recursive value is just amazing. And now we're back up to five cards, which feels really good. Six cards, excuse me. That feels nice. Now, if they have a Gates of Blaze, that sucks. But we do kind of have to just go for it. We are an aggro deck. I mean, we got to go for it. And the good thing about this now, though, is we do have, you know, backup plays. So they're going to play something probably pretty big this turn. So we just kind of have to hope we can make it. Um, but if we do, next turn's probably going to be pretty solid. Okay. Well, that's good for us. We do have one mana open, uh, which is interesting. I don't know why they left that open. Ah, okay. Yeah. Makes sense. All right. Uh, let's drop Fable Passage. Let's do this. Let's do this. And this is where we really just kind of go for it as best we can um, and hope that we can actually get there. Not what we wanted to draw there. Um, it's God's willing just because. Um, that's what we want. Uh, red, I guess. Uh, let's do this. Oh, it's pro. <laughs> oh, that was kind of silly. Uh, yeah, that's fine. What's in our graveyard? Nothing. Okay, so let's not do that. <clears throat> We're learning. Uh, we are learning. We're going to have to discard a lot here, by the way. Um, all right, let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of one of you. Uh, get rid of the gods willing. Hmm. All right. Let's do that. I don't know if that's 100% correct, but I think now we're just kind of in mana efficiency territory, so we kind of just want to keep the cheap stuff so we can power up Feather and hope that they don't have a Gates of Blaze. <laughs> um, would have been probably a good idea to lead back a God's Willing. Um, just in case. But... That's actually annoying. Uh, actually, no, it's not terribly annoying. We just give it pro green. I will say I like the feel of this deck. It's got some pretty great value uh, if you do it right. I am not 100% doing this right, but we're learning, and that's all that matters. This is a fun one. This is a very fun deck. I love the addition of green. Uh, I will say this, just having Season of Growth, feels amazing um also they are down to one untapped land so we may be able to get them this turn <laughs> worth noting they have incredible value as well this gate stack if you've not played it or played against it oh my gosh is it cool it is really really cool um but i think we may have this one we give this pro green, so that way these can't de be declared as blockers, and then we just kind of power it up. Big hit there. All right. Let's see if we can do it. I'm excited. We have all of these in hand right now, which feels amazing. They don't know about this God's Willing. I intentionally kind of got rid of the one that they, you know, the, the God's Willing they knew uh, was there. Um, okay. It's God's willing. Just do this first. We're just going to make sure we do this right. Uh, green. Put you on the bottom. Mm. 
Beautiful. We needed a red land, that's great. Sure. I mean, why not? There we go. We got the win. That feels good. Whew. All right. Despite my mistakes, we <laughs> we got a win. Um, I definitely did not play 100% correctly there. I'm learning that there's a few interactions I did not expect, and that's okay. Um, that's what we do when we when we test out a deck. So let's see what we can do in this last game of this video. We will, of course, be doing uh, two videos, as we always do. Um, and so we'll we'll have another one with this stack very very soon. Also very excited. We'll be opening up some Acoria very very soon. I cannot wait uh, to do that. This is actually a pretty aggressive hand. Uh, we get to drop this turn two and then just kind of hopefully go for it. Yeah, right. This is a very different kind of hand than we've had before. This is very clear. Play tenth district legionnaire and just pump it up uh, as best we can. Uh, let's play this, and we'll just play this. I'm going to attack here. If they want to trade this off now, that's fine. It looks like we're against a Mardu kind of Knights deck. And we have a backup District Legionnaire, so I don't care too much about losing the first. That's a bit aggressive, I know. Um, it may not be correct. I, I'm not 100% sure, but my assumption is they need to play more stuff out here. So, yep. Well, hello there. Yeah, I would love a feather. That felt pretty good. It's a lot of damage. My assumption is they may have a kill spell for this, and that's okay. <clears throat> or just that. Okay. That go wide, though. Um... See what they want to do. Let's see. Five. So if they can deal with this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, they can kill us. So, maybe that wasn't a great attack? I don't know. Oh, that's very good. I don't believe this works out the way I'd like it to. Yeah. Alright, well, that was a pretty quick game. Uh, these games are going to be pretty quick, though, anyway. Um, okay. Thoughts. I have to learn a lot about this deck. Um, so, there's a lot that I'm going to be hopefully playtesting with just kind of in between these videos. That way I can kind of make sure that I'm doing what needs to happen to show off this deck in the best possible light. That being said, we're seeing it have a lot of value, and it's very, very fun. Now, we only did get one win. Uh, part of that, I think, is me being a bit over-aggressive, so maybe I need to tone that back a little bit. In my mind, I'm thinking we're the aggro deck. We need to be aggressive. Maybe that's not always the take that needs to happen. I think in some cases, definitely. Maybe not this one. So we'll test this out again, though. We'll have a second video with it. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Again, if you have a deck suggestion, please make sure to leave that down below as well. We would really appreciate it. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you very soon for part two with this Naya Feather deck. See you guys.